Hey, what's good, YouTube? Native Mass Collector back with another Mail Week weeks video. Um, back from vacation this week, finally getting catched up with everything, caught up with everything. Um, <clears throat> was out in Montana visiting a friend, and another friend came with me, and we went to. Uh, Cypress Hill concert with Atmosphere and DJ Z Trip, and it was just a, a great concert to be at. It was so fun. Um, we had a great time, but nice to be back home with the fam. And I had a bunch of stuff that I had to open up for cards that came in the mail when I was gone. So here we go. Um, if you're new to the channel or checking out the videos, you know, think about subscribing if you d if you dig this kind of content. Just kind of going through the stuff that I'm buying and why and whatnot. So. And I do a lot of submissions, PSA, HGA. Um, I did some uh, revolution grading stuff. I still gotta post that video. And um, other things too, action figures, all kinds of stuff. But this one here is the sports cards mail day. And uh, we'll get going here and see what we got. So I'm a Brewers, Bucks, Packer, Wisconsin Badger um, fan. So I saw this Christian Yelich card. I thought it looked really neat with the team colors and everything. So I picked it up. It's a numbered out of 150. Nothing special, but I just like this old school. You know, I think it was 80, 1984 design. Yep. Uh, Devin Funches. So yeah, that uh, kind of blew up in my face. Um, I've been buying lots of Devin Funches because he was with the Packers and you know I thought he was gonna have a really great year um, the way that he was playing in camp and and uh, the first preseason game and then he kind of pulled his hamstring and he uh, he's a free agent now basically so Packers released him on an injury settlement um, and they were loaded at the receiver position, but I thought he was going to make the team for sure, you know, if he would have kept doing what he was doing. But who knows, you know, six six weeks, he can pretty much sign with anybody, and, um, you know, hopefully his leg is healed by then and he gets an opportunity because really that's all he needs. I mean, he's athletic as hell and he's just been – injuries are getting at him, but um, hopefully he gets better. Uh, this one's number out of 50. It's pretty cool, the uh, silver signature on it. And uh, the other one that I have here of him, I bought this one recently too. Um, this is number out of five, and I have, now I have three of these. Three out of the five, I, I believe. But yeah, that was a bummer when he got hurt. Um, I got in a couple breaks uh, with this Donruss Cleary, clearly, you know, you can see through the cards. Um, so I got John Collins on the break. I got Giannis cards, um, a bunch of Giannis cards and uh, Collins Sexton. Um, nothing too spectacular out of that break. Um, Besides just the commons and stuff like that, but I also had Colin Sexton and a select break, hybrid break, I think it was. So this is a, like a choice um, prism. It's not numbered, but this is the uh, concourse level. Uh, this one here is the tricolor uh, wave. So I think it's the blue, purple, red course level and then also got this blue prism this is numbered out of 299 so I still think he's gonna have a good year uh, let's see what we got here I actually bought some uh, college football um, chronicles and I you know never really opened up any chronicles myself but I always like the fact that they have a little bit of everything in it so got some good ones um, I think anyways Kyle Pitts I think he's gonna have a good year so this is like a spectra pink um, prism it's really cool uh, Trevor Lawrence silver 
again this is just a college stuff so it's probably not gonna be worth as much as their regular pro jersey stuff but anyways uh this is field level silver so this one the, might be a pretty decent card actually long term just because it's a the field level and silver those are hard to come by and then this one here got mac jones and uh, of course everybody knows he's the starter now for new england they cut cam newton so mac jones is the man so i got a field level rookie Alabama jersey and then I got uh, this is the my house Donruss clearly um, Giannis pretty sick let's bring these over here <clears throat> uh, Dennis Rodman choice green yellow and blue not numbered. Uh, I got a Christian Wood. This one's out of 70. 22 out of 70. Teal. Parallel. Um, I picked up this one. I didn't have this one yet. It's just like a checkerboard blue or something like that. I've never seen it before, so I, I snagged it. Good price. Um, Elite. So this one's numbered out of 35. Christian Wood. I like the fact that it's got the blue jersey on in this one. Uh, this one's out of 49. So this one's like the red or purple. And this one's the blue, purple. That was the first one's a die cut. This one's a die cut out of, out of 65, which is a red. Uh, another 65 red die cut. And another out of 65 red die cut. And this one here is Christian Wood's uh, red Cracked Ice, which is the Target retail exclusive, I believe. Not numbered. Um, here's the Lucky Envelopes. This one's out of, numbered out of eight. So I got number three out of eight. Um, I think I might have one more of these, but I'm really targeting those super low numbered ones um, for Christian Wood right now. And this one here is a neon green fast break, which is numbered out of five. This one's number one out of five. So that was pretty sick that I picked that up. Um, then I've been getting some select. I've been getting it on breaks. I've been buying some singles and cards as well. Um, it's not too expensive to get it on the breaks because um, his only card is a uh, concourse level. I'm sorry, courtside level. That's the only card he has. He doesn't have any variations on, on the other concourse or um, club level. Um, he's just courtside and he doesn't have any other inserts or anything. So this is the only card he has in the set. Um, and getting a courtside card isn't very easy to get per box. So that's why I've been, I've been picking up a lot of his cards. Um, and for good prices, um, you know, five bucks or so, five to ten for some of these prism cards. These uh, purple blue ones, I got three of those. Uh, this one here is a orange, white, red, like a uh, flash type of looking card. It's not numbered. It's cool, the team colors. Um, I got an elephant print. Wave. Not numbered. Uh, got another tie dye. These are numbered out of 25. So this one's 13 out of 25. Uh, gold. They call a gold checkerboard or just gold or what but this one's numbered out of 10 this is number four out of ten and then i picked up this one uh green or emerald or whatever you want to call it fast break which is numbered out of five it's number five out of five now the only bummer on this one is it's got like a manufacturing line on the back it goes straight up and down 
Uh, the face looks perfect, but I mean, it's not going to get a 10, maybe a nine with that on it. I don't know, but, um, looks cool. And then I have this, this stack of, uh, just regular select cards. So I got some blue, I got three blue ones, and then I got a stack of just the regular base, not numbered cards again. They're, they're not as easy to get. Like I've been in breaks where I've only gotten one or I've been in breaks where I haven't gotten anything. We're talking, you know, two cases of boxes and only getting one out of it. Um, here's a Christian Wood National Treasures. I was in a break on this one as well. It's totally off-centered, really bad. Um, it's out of 49. It's really cheap to get into some of those breaks, Natural Treasures, things like that, just because there's not that many in there. And uh, people know that, so you know you're in for like ten bucks or less generally. Uh, these are elite; they're all the same base. I got them for a buck a piece. And I got another Christian Wood red, white, and blue prism, and I picked up this one for a couple bucks. Uh, Hoops Premium Silver. And then the last things I got for today, I picked up these two from the same seller. So these are CSGs, um, rated rookie Christian Woods. So I got a nine and a 9.5. And this one was damn close to getting a 9.5 as well. They would have rounded up, but they did not. They rounded down. But uh, they all look really nice, both of them. The corners are the biggest issue on some of these things but these look pretty good um, so yeah the more i see these uh csg cases the more i like them just because you know the hologram on the uh on the green part which you don't just see in the pictures unless you have it you know a lot of people don't like the fact that it's got this big wide label on top but I kind of like it because it's not everything is just jammed in there like a PSA label or something like that where it's just you just run out of room. But so that's what we got this week. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I'm gonna try to get some more more other videos out as well. I got that Revolution card grading. I got to edit yet and uh, try to tie that one into the original one because it was just a kind of a mess to begin with, but. Um, appreciate you guys checking it out. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. And then hit that bell for notifications. Uh, when I drop videos, you'll be notified. And I'll see you in the next one. Later. Thanks.